Hello world, I'm Ben Dan, and nice to meet you, got some questions, I'm wondering, can you answer like... What's up YouTube, Dan here, and welcome to a new episode of the Rhyme Your Career Mode, and today we do have actually have another episode, and it's going to be live as well, so first of all, the thing I want to do is I'm actually going to change the kit numbers, a lot of you guys have actually been requesting me to do it, so first of all, that's what we're going to do, so first of all, uh, we're actually going to change Mario Balotelli from number 10 uh, to number 45, this is going to take a long time, isn't it? Right, okay, so 45, that's his actual number for AC Milan. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Also, for Mario Ghost, we're going to change him to number 10, as he is actually number 10. But he's actually number 19 at Bayern Munich. But I think his preferred number is actually number 10. So Mario Ghost will be number 10. Uh, also, just have a look, quick, down, a quick look down here. Uh, Lukaku, I'll keep as number 19. Don't really care too much. Um, let's have a look. So I think that's it for now. That's how we'll keep it for now. So we're just going to back out. And also, just show you quickly the calendar as well to show you what game's actually coming up. And in the last episode, we actually lost to Liverpool. So I kind of want to bounce back from that and hopefully go and win the next game, which is actually against... Uh, Getafe, and then after that we do have Real Betis, and then after that we do have Seville, AC Milan, Zarcos, and then all these games coming up. So a lot of games to come, and they will be all live as well. So the question of the day for today's episode is going to be: Do you want to see more live commentary episodes, or do you want to see more post commentary episodes? So leave that in the comment section below, and let's go into the first game of today's episode. Right, so here we go. The first game of today's episode is going to be up against Getafe. So I'm actually looking forward to this game. You can see the league table in a moment. I've actually made a couple of substitutions just because I've actually got a game in a couple of days' time. So we're actually going to have a look at the league table first of all. We actually have actually lost a couple of games recently, so we're going to have to start winning some games. And you can see they're actually fifth in the league with 16 points from nine of, from the first nine games. And Getafe actually doing really well as well. So we're actually going to go into the game now, and hopefully we can get the win. Oh, the space on this left-hand side. Ronaldo is through again. Can he score this time? He's got enough pace for left foot shot. Oh, that's another great save. Can we just score? Yes, we finally... No, we're not. Lukaku with another chance. Come on. Oh, another great save there from the goalie. We just cannot score the first goal. And they're leaving a lot of gaps at the back as well. Let's try and score this. Come on, Varane. Win that. Oh, Lukaku should be able to get on the end of that. So we're still 0-0. Hopefully we can get a goal uh, before the end of the first half. Oh, and great ball through Colin Lukaku. Lukaku must finish this. Finesse shot. It's saved again. Ronaldo's going to finish that. That goes into uh, the back of the net. That's our first goal of the game. Finally, we get the first goal of the game. And it falls to Ronaldo there from the block there from the goalie. The goalie's actually been insane so far in this game. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this live commentary as well. I certainly enjoy it a lot more. And hopefully I will do more next gen as well. So, by the way, there'll be Schalke career mode as well if you guys don't know already. As I have actually said a couple of times. So, 1-0. Hopefully we can keep this lead until the end of the first half. Oh, my God. That's gone into the box. What is Casillas doing? Oh my god, he's offside. Thank god for that. I was thinking, what is Casillas doing there? I nearly fell to him. That would have been onside. If it would have been onside, Jesus Christ, that would have been an easy goal there. I don't know what he's trying to do either. With the, I would have headed that in, obviously. Right, into Isco. Isco with the finesse shot. Let's go for it. Is it going in? No, it's not. Lukaku's going to have this. Right, let's go past the defender here. Let's go move. Oh, it's unlucky. Let's try and get this ball into the box. Is Ronaldo there? Who's this? Isco. Isco the header. Yes. Oh my god. Isco's actually scored. He's actually scored a header. And Isco this season hasn't been too good, but hopefully I'll use Goats a lot more this season. But 2 0, and we're actually pretty safe at the moment. So we're actually at half time nil, 2 0. Ronaldo and Isco were the goal scorers. And we're actually going to go into the second half, make a couple of substitutions as well, as we do actually have a second game of the week actually up against Real Betis, I do believe. So we're actually going to make a couple of substitutions. So, first of all, I think I'm going to bring off either Bale or Ronaldo. So, first of all, I'll have a decision. So, I think I'll bring Bale. And actually, Ronaldo is going to come off for now. And also, let's have a think. So, I want to bring off Shakiri. And also, let's have a think. So, that's about it for now. So, we're actually going to go into the second half now, and hopefully, we can get add. Uh, add to our lead, sorry. Right, Shakiri use that pace. Look at the pace on Shakiri there. Just feels so quick on this game. Bale, oh my god, it's gone past him. Bale, is he going to chip it? Oh my god, I didn't actually mean to do that. And that leads to a corner kick. I just saw I try it and actually chipped over the goalie. Nearly went in. Corner Lukaku win that. Oh, nearly there. Corner Shakiri, has he got a good right foot? I don't know. He's left footed, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, Isco servicing there to Lukaku. Lukaku inside. Left foot shot. Come on, Lukaku. Oh my god, he is so good. Lukaku is such a good backup striker. And even better than probably uh, Diego Costa at the moment, in my opinion. He's doing so well for us at the moment. And he's only 6.5 million as well. And for a player that's scoring, I think he scored around about 5 goals already this season. That is the bargain of the century. And he's been so good so far this season. Hopefully he can get to around about the 30 goal mark. That would be absolutely insane. Right guys, so at the end of the game there, we actually won that game 3-0. Uh, Ronaldo, Isco and Lukaku were the goal scorers. What a uh, performance that was. And without probably some of my key players like Balotelli, Costa, uh, Goetzer as well, other players like that, I thought I did actually really well in that game. Getafe weren't the best 
best of the opponents either, and we actually gone on to dominate that game. And I had a couple of scares, but in the end, my defence was actually really solid. So I'm actually going to show you the squad report in the moment. Uh, so first of all, I'll actually go through the menu. So we've actually got ourselves an international management offer from uh, Chile. I'm actually going to reject that because I actually uh, rejected my offer from Belgium to continue with them, and I don't really want to. I don't really care about uh, what's it international management offers at the moment. Right guys, so into our second game today's episode, it's going to be up against Real Betis and they're actually second in the league as well, so it's going to be a really good match and we're playing at night in the Santiago Bernabeu as well, so I'm really looking forward to this game so first of all here is the league table, uh, so Barcelona actually leading with 23 points, we're actually in 5th uh, position, actually uh, 4 points off the leads not too bad if we actually beat Barcelona when we actually eventually play them, we'll go 1 point behind them, so it's not too bad actually after we actually lost those 2 games, I thought it was going to actually end the season but we've actually, uh, we actually won our last couple of games, so I'm actually really happy uh, with the team, so that's the team uh, lineup. You can see Ballas, Heli, Goza, uh, and Ronaldo actually returning to the team. And there is better this team. It probably is quite successful. And they've actually got Juan Fran as well. He looks like a former Real Madrid player. So we're actually going to go into the game now, and hopefully we can get the win. Ronaldo on the ball now, cut inside, this is just overpowered and that is an absolutely fantastic finish into the back of the net, that is the first goal of the game and in this episode I've just felt absolutely unstoppable, that is our first, uh, fourth goal of the episode as well, as well and I said as well twice as well, I just mess up but anyway, 1-0, first goal of the game there and we actually won the up against Real Betis, good sign so far oh my god they actually threw here, is he going to score, that is a fantastic finish into the back of the net and that shows how Real Betis is actually doing so well this season. That is their uh, first goal of the game there. That makes it 1-1. Bit disappointed with my defending there, but it's actually my fault. You can see there. But I see Bale on the other side here. Goes through to Gareth Bale. Can Gareth Bale finish this? Come on. Finesse it past the goalie. Great save there from the goalie. Should have maybe taken that a bit earlier, but we're actually getting closer to scoring the next goal of the game. Alright guys, so at half time now, that has been one of the best half times or best halves of I've actually ever played. That was absolutely fantastic. My team's actually performing really well. I don't think they really deserve to be drawing, but I'm actually really happy with how my team has performed so far. So I've actually got a second question of the day. And the question of the day for today's episode is going to be, who do you think has been the best player so far in this career mode? I think for me it's probably either Ronaldo, uh, probably either Bale, or maybe even Kadir as well. Kadir has been absolutely sublime in this in this career mode. Really good, one of my favourite CDMs to use as well. And probably may, maybe buy him for my Shaka career mode. And yes, yeah, so we're actually going to make a couple of substitutions. I'm just having to think. So I actually want to bring on Varane because Mangala is not as solid as him, in my opinion. So actually, I'll, I'll bring on uh, Sergio Ramos uh, for uh, Varane, swap them around. Where is Varane? Or oh, Mangala, sorry. And also, let's, that's about it for now. So we're actually going to go into the second half and hopefully we can get the win. Oh, come on, Mangala. No, this is actually a mess. Oh my god. How have they scored that? I've been absolutely dominating in this game, so that makes it 2-1. And it seems like Juan Fran is the guy that we have to watch. He's been absolutely amazing in this game. And still, it's actually been a really enjoyable game. And to be honest, I'm not really too bothered about actually winning the league in the end. It's more about winning the Champions League, because I've already won the league and the Spanish Cup, so I'm actually more focused on winning the Champions League. But still, I really want to win the league, but hopefully uh, my main priority is actually uh, to win the Champions League. So hopefully we can get a goal by the end of the game to, not, uh, to kind of uh, prevent actually losing this game. How has Varane not won that? Go on, stack him over or something. And how has that gone in? That is absolute cheese there. Uh, Varane should have got to that. I don't know what he was trying to do either. I was thinking about maybe just trying to get in the way of the ball so he'd actually fall over me or something. And that makes it 3-2. This has been such a frustrating game. And I just haven't been able to take my, uh, my opportunity. It's simple as that. And they've actually taken all three of their chances. And yeah, that's really disappointing. But hopefully we can get a goal uh, before the end of the game. Alright guys, so we're actually coming towards the end of the game, so we've actually got around about 15 minutes to go, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to swap to a more attacking formation, so we're actually going to go uh, with the 4-1-3-2, so we're actually going to bring on, uh, what's his name, Lukaku, or maybe Diego Costa, we'll see what happens, so Ronaldo's going to still act as our left midfielder, uh, Ghost is actually going to be our, let's have, let's have a think, so Bale's going to be our right midfielder, I think Kadir is going to stay on as our CDM, so let's quickly do that. And we're actually going to bring on Lukaku, so we'll see how well this does. And if this could be a winning formula as well, so we're actually going to go into the last 15 minutes and hopefully we can get the goal uh, to draw the game, hopefully. We're at the end of the game, that is our third loss of the season as well. And I think that's going to be the end of today's episode. And I'd like to say a massive uh, thank you for support on, on my series so far on the Real Madrid career mode. And I, can't, I cannot wait till next gen career mode as well, as I will be doing Schalke. I just cannot wait, and there'll be probably two uploads a day because I'll be really looking forward to that. And just to remind you, the question of the day for today's episode is going to be, do you want live commentary or do you want post commentary episodes? And I'm really enjoying these live commentary episodes, but I know that some of you guys do actually want to see post commentary episodes. I'm fine with doing that. I prefer either way. So we actually, we actually lose that game uh, through to the end. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you in the next episode.